have that tight line, then all of a sudden you just feel a thump. And when you feel that thump, you set the hook. But you don't always get the hook set. Here's some top secret tricks to getting a better hook set ratio and maybe to get some a little, little bit more bites. So. Recently, and I knew I was going to want it last year, I focused on crankbaits, learned how to throw them, where to throw them. Had some pretty good results. This year, I'm focusing on jigs. And I've used jigs, I've read about them, I've researched them before, but I haven't really been a big user. But there are a few things I want to show you, ways to maybe get some more bites, but the main thing we want to do is increase your actual hookup ratio. This is a jig. Normally your a jig's going to have a weighted head, it's going to have a brush guard of some kind. Might not be these bristles, but this is typically what they come with. Now first off, what you're going to want to do, as soon as I get a jig, I look to see if the skirt is too long. Typically, I want the bulk of my skirt to come out to about the edge of the head of whatever trailer I'm normally going to be using with it. And of course, I want those I want those uh, claws sticking out of it. So check it if you need to. You might trim the skirt up a little bit. This one I think is pretty good. It's a little long in the back, but I'm not worried about that. Next thing, this that might help you get some more bites. Now. Next thing we want to focus on is this brush guard. This one's not terrible. If you're like me, I love fishing the heavy grass mats. I love it. Bass love to get in there, especially during the springtime. And uh, so sometimes even this brush guard does not make it completely weedless. It's still going to get hung up. Stuff's going to come in through the side. You're going to get some issues. So now, one thing you can do. I actually got these from Mystery Tackle Box. They look like the little tiny rubber bands you get from Walmart, just a little bit thicker. I don't even know who makes these. All I know is it came from Mystery Tackle Box, and I don't know how I haven't thought of it before. But you'll see some uh, some jigs nowadays come with split weed guards. That's not just for looks. It helps. It protects both sides of the hook. It helps you bring it through the heavy cover, the heavy grass, a whole lot easier. You can go about this two ways. You can get these little rubber band things, and you can put it on there, and it splits, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Or, either way, you want to find the middle. You want to try to find the middle to separate it. Once you find that, you can do what I call the Fluke Master way, because his is the first one that I saw do it. Once you have it split, you can just run your finger down it and push down on it for a few seconds, and it should stay split apart. So that's one way. The next way is to use these rubber bands. And what you want to do, you want to just slip it over the whole, all of the bristles. You're going to pull it all the way down. Next, what you're going to do, you're going to want to try to find the middle as best you can. Sometimes it's hard. And then what you're going to do is while you're holding that apart, you're going to take the back side of this rubber band. You're going to try to just get the rubber band, not the skirt. You're going to basically bring it down the middle, through the middle of this skirt. You want to make sure, slide this down all the way to the bottom. And all you're going to do is take this end that you're holding on to, slide it over the head like that. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep it, it's going to keep them split apart. So when you're bringing it through, it's going to be protected on both sides of that hook. It's going to be a little bit harder for something to get in there. You want to do that. And then another way, if you don't want to split your weed guard, you can, if you look, this comes right much past 
that hook to the edge of this brush guard. And I still do it even when I'm uh, using split. You can see it helps it a little bit, but it still comes quite a bit past. You want it just past the tip. I mean, just past, and this one's not too bad. I'm going to bring it down. I see where it is. I'm just going to trim a tad bit off. I'm just going to trim a tad bit off like that. You can see it's just past the edge of the hook. Mike could stand the trim a little bit more, but you get the idea. And that's going to help with your hook sets. Ideally, you would be using a heavier rod, one with more backbone, that you can set the hook, and you're going to have enough to get that hook through the bass's mouth. But if you're like me, and you shop at Walmart for your rods, then you normally don't get that choice. So, that'll help you out. Should help you out. Try it. Get a few jigs. Try it out. See how it works for you. I don't think you're going to be disappointed in the results. And if you try it, it works great. I helped you out some. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know. I love hearing it. Send me a message on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. And just let me know. I like helping people out. And I enjoy hearing the stories of how I've helped people out. I hope this helps you. And everybody take care.